Welcome to the Mantis Show. Back after Christmas. The only podcast featuring an insect and an inanimate object and a different intro every week. What's up, Box Watterson? What's up? Hey, it's my audio engineer. I'm your host, Mantis. Back for a New Year's episode. I'm not sure when this is going to air. Are we going to air this on before New Year's or after? A little bit before. Yeah. If any of you even be listening to it, if any of you guys are not, in, if you're the right level of inebriated to where you can yeah. find, find the amount of time to just sit back and listen to somebody talk. Ah, oh, so guys, this week, this show, post Christmas show. Yep. You, how was Christmas box? Uh, it was pretty chill. Pretty chill. Did you play Super Mario? I did for a little bit, yeah. I don't even, you know. I beat World 1, and then I was like, all right, that's enough. If it tells you, like, how little I'm in lockstep with my Christmas traditions, I I can't even fucking remember what my traditions are. Yeah. (laughs) Christmas is gone. I don't have to think about that anymore. I know. I hosted my first first family dinner, though. Oh. Yeah. It's not as fun as it sounds. Yeah, that sounds awful. Like, it it went went on. It comes with so many expectations and everything. Fucking responsibilities. Look. I'll, I'll tell you this. It went better than I thought it would, but we spent all this time cleaning the house, prepping food. Pro tip, tell family they got to bring food. Oh, too. yeah. That pro tip. No, but literally, all the family starts rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. Tons of people flooding into my house. My fucking anxiety level's on 10. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. I start to look, and I'm like, motherfucker, do I have enough forks for all these people? <laughs> Like, yeah. like, bro, do you, you don't even, you don't even think about that shit. Just living with like one other person and maybe having, you know, two or three people over. When you got like fucking 10 people coming into your house, you're like, do I even have this much silverware? Yeah. So I start f- like freaking out. I don't even look to count all my forks. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I start to look. We don't have any drinks. Nothing, oh, nothing for people no. to drink. And I look at my fiance. I'm like, hey, what, what the, what the fuck are these people going to drink? She's like, Water. Water. I'm like, I'm like, nobody in this house wants to drink your room temperature fucking uh, filtered water. She's like, well, I do. I'm like, no, it doesn't fucking, <laughs> nobody's going to drink room temperature water. Like, what is this, this fucking, this, is this a camping trip? No, this is supposed to be like a, this is the second most important dinner of a, of a year, of the year, of all the holidays. Thanksgiving's, of course, the, the most important, but I'm like, shit. So all the people have already arrived, and I'm like, nah, nah, I'll yeah. be back. I literally storm out the door, and everybody's like, where, where the, where did he, where's Mantis? Yeah. He's gone. And so I've run to the grocery store, and I'm in there with all the, like, single dads and fucking scatterbrained moms who burnt their turkeys, and they're trying to, like, yeah. do last second, last second, oh. like, shopping, and... I'm like sprinting through the aisles and I'm grabbing, sh- like, I still find time. I got a problem. I still find time to like grab useless shit that I don't even need. Yeah. Like, I almost bought this little fucking egg cooker thing. Like, don't, no, different story. Anyways, so I run over and I grab like every drink I can, I, I can fucking think of. And this always happens to me when I go to the store. I never, I grab one of those fucking little baskets to try to keep myself from like buying too much shit. Yeah. And I always end up having like a 50 pound basket to where it's stacked up into a fucking pyramid like shape. So I'm like running down the aisles trying to like, I've got like three or four gallons of milk, you know, in all my different fingers and I'm trying to hold No, but seriously, I grab like all this tea, all these soft drinks. I grab like paper plates and plastic cups because I don't want to do dishes. Yeah. And... I run and grab a shitload of silverware. I just buy a shitload of silverware. And then, you know, I grab a bag of ice and stuff and I get back. And thank God, dude. Thank God I bought those that stupid fucking silverware. Because I get there that we have like, I'm you don't realize how little shit you have until you need it. Yeah. I've got like six forks in my house. Oh my God. Because I don't need more than that. That's like, right. Fuck, dude, I don't, need, I don't need more than like five or six forks. And lo and behold... Before I even get the new forks out, they're all out. And everybody's like, where's the silverware? Going off and everything. And 
you don't you don't know shame until you've got to do dishes. You've got to like clean because yeah. it, it was new silverware, and I don't want to just give it to them. But you don't know shame until you've got to like wash something so someone can use it. Yeah, that's that's bad. That's fucking bad. Washing on demand. Oh, look at Mantis. Had all year to prepare for Christmas. Suddenly become a bus boy. Yeah, but Mantis didn't have all year. He didn't think about this all year. And now here's dinner right now. This moment. Show us, how, show us how much you care about the family. Yeah. Yeah, fuck me. Fuck me, right? Yeah. But yeah, so, uh, and I, I'm always, I'm the world's worst, and I'll be like, yeah, this year, I'm going all out. I'm cooking, I'm cooking this big thing, and everybody's excited about it. For some, everybody always gets excited about me cooking something. Oh, no. no. Not, like, like, more so than other people, and, and I don't know why, but I'm like, yeah, cooking a turkey. Gonna cook a fucking turkey, bro. I could not find a thawed turkey any fucking anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I only looked one place, but still, I shouldn't <laughs> have to go super far to find a fucking thawed turkey. And I and how in the fuck how long do you think it's going to take for a turkey to de, to defrost, to just completely thaw out? Probably like a few days. Like yeah, sometimes a whole day, depending on where you get it, maybe 6 hours. What the fuck are you talking? Maybe yeah, maybe if you get it from the lukewarm section of the the fucking th- <laughs> they always they had them all in the freezers, man. So I didn't cook a turkey, but we had like somebody. Luckily, one of the adults in the family bought yeah. a ham, so we, that's what we had. Yeah. But bro, I've had I've literally like I'm so Christmas food out and Thanksgiving type food out. I'm I'm, I'm like burnt out on all that shit. Oh because yeah. Literally for three or four days, it's all I've eaten. My family has never done that. Like, uh, Christmas dinner or whatever. We never do that. We always just like, whatever the fuck we got in the pantry, that's what we're eating. It's like a normal dinner. Spaghetti tonight, guys. Yeah, exactly. Christmas spaghetti. (laughs) But I don't think that they need to have like, you know, I know there's staples to the dinners and everything. Yeah. But you spend it, eat whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, exactly. That's what I do. As long as you got a fucking Christmas. Did you put up a Christmas tree? No. No. Fuck box, is it even Christmas in here? <laughs> man, that's the thing, man. We it just not this year, not this year. Bro, we couldn't got, be bothered. I got a Christmas tree up in the studio twenty four seven. Yeah, it's we always do. the holidays in here. That's right. Like in in the Mantis Show studios, there's a Christmas tree that you know we're on air whenever that Christmas tree is illuminated. Fucking pink always. ass Christmas tree. It's a pink pre lit <laughs> Christmas tree, and it's got wiener dog ornaments on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Always after the holidays, well, after after Christmas, should I say, you got the new year coming in, dude. I, I'm, I, I, this is always the weirdest time in between holidays. Like, Thanksgiving and Christmas have already passed, but it's that in-between period before New Year's. It's the weirdest time. You don't know what to do. Exactly. And, like, and like time passes by so fucking quickly for me. Like, I feel like it was just Christmas, like, last night. Yeah. Like, it's so eventful and there's so much shit going on that literally the instant it's over it's like coming down from an adrenaline rush yeah but it's it's more so of a a rush of just doing so like driving 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 spending money spending money i seriously feel like i just went on a like a like a hooker binge or something dude all of my money's gone it's it just it's gone yep i know that and I spent... Oh, and by the way, while I was at the store, they fucking opened gifts without me while I was gone. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess that's... Keep them occupied. Make them, you know, stop thinking about, hey, why aren't we eating? Yeah. Oh, because we don't have anything to eat with. Oh, man. We're going to do, like, a, one of those... those. Uh, we got finger sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <sighs> I wish it was that simple. Yeah. I wish it was that simple. You know, with New Year's coming up, though... Sometimes I have a hard time trying to figure out what I'm going to do for New Year's. Yeah. I feel like I should do something. I feel like there's, you know, you feel like the 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 asshole old man if you don't try to make New Year's plans. Yeah, that's true. I'm just glad that, like, you're cool with just coming over to my house, us cooking, drinking, you know, a few beers or something, and just watching TV. Yeah. I don't think I've watched a ball drop in, like, ten years. I know. I think last year we were fucking watching YouTube videos. Yeah, we we had a delay on ours. It was already it was like twelve oh five. Yeah, we're, we're like, like, well, Happy New Year's five Happy minutes New late. Year's five minutes ago. 
It kind of loses its magic. We're too busy watching fucking 360 no scope compilations, you know? <laughs> Man. So with New Year's, it's a it's a holiday that is notorious for drinking. Mm-hmm. Especially with younger people. So I think that we need to come up with you know, everybody has their their own little magic uh I guess you call it like recipe, their hangover cure. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna make up one right now. We're gonna have a hangover cure that will one hundred percent put the lead in your pencil, the pet back in your step on the day after New Year's. So this is what you do. Box, you're gonna add on to this. I'm gonna Look, you, you for real, you have to do this legit with me. Like, okay. I'm going to say an ingredient. Okay. And this is all, we're, you're all going to base this off the premise of something that's going into a blender. It's got to be blendable. Okay, okay. All right, so st- I'm going to say an ingredient, and then you're going to put something else in there. And this this shit has to taste decent. Oh, and, Jesus. And it's got it. you got to get your shit in there. You got to get your shit in there that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna heal you up. Okay. All right, you're going to put a banana in there. That's, that's mm. my first ingredient. A the banana, ba- the banana, you know, the potassium's gonna, it's gonna get in there, and you know, potassium's technically what like a salt. It's gonna help with, with your, you know, keep your muscles from cramping up, and that's a, it's gonna, you know, that's you, a good, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's gonna, cause, cause you're gonna be dehydrated. That's true. You're gonna be dehydrated from all this alcohol, so you need a banana in you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, need to, you didn't get enough in you the night before. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So what, what are you, what are you popping in this concoction? <sighs> I mean, if it's got to taste good, you got to throw some strawberries in there with that banana. Oh, I mean, that's that's a, that's a classic combo. That's like peanut butter and, and jelly. Ch- I was going to say chocolate. I mean, or I mean that. they both I mean, go together. That's they both right. go together. So why would you put, why are you going to put strawberries in there? I mean, I don't know. Just because it tastes good? I mean, it's fruit. That's got to be healthy for you. Ta- <laughs> <laughs> a guy at my work, man. He's this older guy. He said, "Fuck, everything's a fuck." And we were talking about fruits and vegetables. He's like, "Fuck, everything's a vegetable." Because I was eating like a, a donut or something. He's like, "That? That's made of fucking wheat. That's, that's a right. vegetable. That's right. He that said, is a vegetable." He said, "That's a." He said, "You're eating fucking vegetables, whether you like it or not." <laughs> He's like, "It's good for you. It's good for you." <laughs> so, my second ingredient: a bottle of Pedialyte. Bro, mm. oh my God! You remember when we went to that music festival together? Yeah, and I stayed pissed drunk the entire time. Yep, entire time. Like, we went to this music festival a few years back. Literally, I didn't stop drinking from the time I woke up till the time I went to bed. You're I actually, wasted for three days straight. I literally went to sleep before everybody else and missed out on all this fun stuff because I was so drunk I couldn't fucking hold my eyes open. <laughs> I missed out on half the festival because I was drunk. And then you know what saved me? My hangover to cure the next morning. Pedialyte. Hmm. Pedialyte, I've never dude. tried that. Chug a shitload of it. Pedialyte. It's like a fucking drink you give to babies and shit. Yeah. From being dehydrated, they start like pooping their pants and stuff. Yeah. Well, they're always pooping their pants, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So that's, that's ingredient number three. It don't taste too bad either. Hmm. That's, we got our liquid and we got two solids. Okay. Well, I was thinking maybe more liquid, just like fucking two gallons of water. Because that's exactly what you fucking need when you have you a hangover. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to change that. The only other, one one other cure I found for hangovers is just more alcohol. more be- That's put true. A, put a beer in there. That's true, yeah. Uh, a, a light beer. A, light, a, light a nice beer. light beer just to take the edge off. Yeah, just enough. Just enough. So to we keep- got strawberry, banana, Pedialyte, and beer. That's a good combo. All right. So look, we're going to do this because y- you never... You never know. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw two ingredients in this, because you never taste them if they're with like fruity shit, spinach, and garlic. Garlic. Garlic, bro. And you what never fucking fuck? know it, dude. You never know it. Never know it's there. Jesus Christ. And the garlic. I don't know why the fuck I'd put that in there, but it's supposed to be healthy and shit. Spinach. I mean, it's fucking spinach. Man, I mean, you're already fucking greasy and shit from being hung over. Just like. Your body is just like spewing alcohol out of your pores. Right, and the garlic is going to get all the toxins out of you. It's going to clean you up. <laughs> you could just smell like a boozy, garlicky Italian hobo or something, you know? Right, and I'm going to throw a little bit of like a fucking like X lax, like chocolate laxative. Oh, Jesus. Just to get you, you got to shit out all that evil out of your box. That's you gotta true. You got to shit that evil out of your body. That's fucking true. 
I'm not gonna lie, this turned out to be a kind of disgusting little hangover cure. But yeah. let me fucking tell you, let me tell you, box. I've done, I've I've, I've done worse shit to try to get rid of a hangover. Yeah, I've, and I've seen people do worse things. I've seen motherfuckers thinking that they can do stretches and like yoga. Oh, and fucking fuck. meditate, single nostril breathing. First you you breathe yeah. into one, and then you exhale, and then you. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That's a Hillary Clinton thing. No, but. You'd be surprised at shit people do. Fuck people- that, dude. Uh, it's like, for me, I haven't had a hangover in probably like three years. You haven't drank enough then. No, I've been pissed drunk. But I- Have you been shit drunk? I've, I've came close. I've, <laughs> I've came, came close. close. I'll tell you that right now. But the thing that has stopped me from having a hangover is between drinks, I drink a bottle of water. And- uh-huh. An entire bottle of water? Some uh, throughout must, the night, you must piss like a fucking water hose, dude. I, do I mean, the already whole night, already piss enough just drinking beer. The whole night, I'm fucking pissing, but god damn it, I'll wake up the next day while everybody else is just like fucking you dead. You look like a fucking mummy, dude. Like, you'll be, de- <laughs> I feel like that's counterproductive. It's like, yeah, you're taking in more fluids, but then your body's like, no, no, got to got extra now. We got to piss even more. Like you just did just shrivel you out just as quick. No, no, dude. It, trust me, it works. It mm. works. I haven't had a hangover in forever. I know people would like to take uh but if I don't have water, Waffle House is the next best thing. You remember that year? I think it was after I think it was after New Year's. Yep. You and I yep. went to Waffle House. Yep. And we're sitting so we get to Waffle House and it's probably 8 a.m., something like that. There's, you know, they're serving breakfast, which oh. they always serve breakfast. But we're sitting here. This place is fucking packed. There's so many. There's at least 50 people in this little bitty Waffle House. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get a booth. And these two guys, they were cooks behind the counter, yep. start screaming at each other. And I don't, I don't remember the whole. Do you remember what else happened? Yes, I remember exactly what happened. I was he still was a like, drunk. One dude was pissed off. Because the other guy wasn't keeping up with shit or whatever. He was like slacking and, you know, of course it was fucking busy as hell in there. So he's like, dude, what the fuck? You know, like just screaming at him. And eventually, shit gets escalated. Escalated way too far. They just start fucking fist fighting. Oh, that's it. I didn't. I couldn't remember if he hit him or not. They fucking fist fighting while everybody's eating their fucking food and everybody's too hungover to do anything about it. They're just like... Man, the whole time I'm sitting here fucking just eating my bacon. I look, I look over, I see these motherfuckers fighting, and then Box is just sitting here. He's just still eating like everything's normal. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? I'm like, man, can I, can I get some like, can I get like a hash brown? I remember what happened afterwards because we were sitting there and these guys are being or fist fighting. Four or five guys grab this one dude, start dragging him out back. And telling him never to come back, blah, 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 screaming at him. And I'm like, check, please. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> oh. I was like, bro, uh, man, can, can I get like a hash brown <laughs> with like everything on it, please? Yeah. Um, I know y'all a little busy, but There's a damn. tooth in my pancakes yeah. from this motherfucker slamming the other dude's face on the griddle. So. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. That, that shit was so dangerous. Motherfuckers getting thrown around with a fucking hot ass grill. Right there. Oh, my God. Oh, could you imagine that? He slips on the grease, and then he, like, catches himself oh, just with his fingers right on that, that goes grill. Goes head first into the fucking grill. Oh, <sighs> becoming Two-Face. Man, Happy I, New Year's. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Dude, oh, my God. I remember I saw a guy quit McDonald's one time, and he flipped out. The manager said something to him, and he screamed at him, and this dude ripped his shirt off quick, threw it into the deep fryer. Oh, my God. Threw his shirt in the deep fryer, flipped everyone off, and was like, fuck this place. I don't get paid enough to be here. But I'm not. Like, I'm gone. Bye. This is my two weeks fucking notice. And just walks out. Good for him. Good for him. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and, then, and then they came up to me at the counter, and I was like, those better not be my fries. I'm not paying for them. Yeah, for man, I there's a whole shirt in my fries. <laughs> yeah, you, they just you could pull out your cup and then you walk inside and there's just a massive shirt dripping with grease and it's crispy and it's hanging out of a small fry container and you're like, yeah, uh, I think there's something in my fries. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh, it's better. I guess it's better than finding like a finger or a thumb in it. Yeah, that's true. People find that shit. Man, speaking of McDonald's, on Christmas, uh, 
after we already had our dinner, I'm a fucking night owl. I don't go to bed till like way late in the night. I got hungry again. We didn't have anything in the house. So I go out to McDonald's. It's the only place that's still open. And I go there. And this lady is just screaming at some, like the drive through lady, like through the little microphone and held up the line for 17 minutes. You counted? <laughs> because I looked at my phone. I was like, well, you know, I figured, you know, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not going nowhere. But, and this is the only place open. What other choice do I got? But I was like on my phone just watching videos while I was waiting in line because it was taking forever. Fucking 17 minutes later, this bitch is like, fine, fuck you. And then just drives away. And then fucking two police cars come in. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Man, fucking Merry I'm, Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> fucking shit's crazy around here, man. I have the, I have the fucking, I never have that problem after, like, on Christmas Day or anything. Because what always happens to me is I get, I get really hungry and I get really low on gas. And no place is open. Yeah. I can never fucking find any place open. I got to drive like four hours to get to my family's. And oh my God, dude, it's in the middle of nowhere. So literally, like, they're off for a fucking week for Christmas, it seems like. The whole city, town, the whole 300-mile fucking radius, everybody just shuts down. Yeah. And and re- recedes back into their little hidey holes until the new New Year comes around. So literally, it happens to me every year. I get hungry, and it's, like, way late in the night, or it's before we go eat, you know, dinner and stuff. Yeah. And nothing's open. Walmart isn't open. McDonald's Jesus. isn't open. Like, all the staples, all of the fucking cornerstones of capitalism, all the, the guys that don't give two shits yeah. about, you know, workers and them getting off on holidays, even even in these towns, they're, they're all closed. Yeah. It's like it's like Walmart is still a family business. Yeah, and exactly. fucking where I go. <laughs> like owned by mom and pop. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's ridiculous, dude. So I've literally started like prepping days in advance. I'm like buying bottles of water. I'm calling fucking the Alex Jones network and I'm buying like 30-day food supply, like yeah, rationing and yeah. shit. I've got like I've got my survival bunker that I fucking I, I live in. I mean, you fuck, know, around dude, the that's Christmas what you holidays. Need. That's what you need. That's what I'm going to start doing. That's what everybody, everybody needs a panic room for Christmas. Yeah. So literally, you got all your food and water in there. You've got your television. You've got your fucking security cameras. And then when your family shows up, you just just pretend they're not there. And yeah. they just, they'll leave eventually. Yeah. Just stay in your fucking panic room. What are they going to do? They're going to get through, you know, uh, an, an inch of fucking cold rolled steel? No, they're not. Stay in your panic room. That's right. Mantis that's the, tip that's for the, the way holidays. to survive the holidays. And every panic room needs a big red button. Yeah. It needs a big red button. It doesn't even need to do anything. It doesn't need to do anything at all. You can just like turn on the light with it. Yeah. And then you tell people, don't press that big red button. And then they'll press it. And then you can have like a little alarm go off or something. And you're just like, oh, I'm just, just fucking. It. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> so in New Year's, along with hangover cures, there's also the, the cliche that everybody's going to talk about. Yeah. And we are too because we're not above cliches. No. We have no standards here. Zero. New Year's resolutions. Mm. I'm going to speak on New okay. Year's resolutions. Okay. So, Box, I'm going to give you my list of New Year's resolutions. Okay. And then you're going to give me a list of your New Year's resolutions. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Okay, so New Year's resolution number fucking one. This one, some of these I've actually kind of started working on already before the new year because like why the fuck would you wait yeah start early so i need to stop staying up so late dude oh dude well that ain't happening for me well you we mean you got two different schedules though yeah but with me man oh my god dude i will literally stay up till like 6 a.m and then i'll sleep till like 9 or 10 o'clock oh man like i just bought a new bed and I'm not even getting my money's worth out of it. I'm not even getting my, my eight hours of sleep or six hours of sleep a night. Yeah. It's fucking awful, dude. Like, I I don't know. Why why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a hard one for me because I'm like, there's just so much. I can, you know, stay up and play video games. I can watch TV. That, that's, when I, that's when I catch up on, like, all my shows. Yeah. All of my shows that my fiance 
just won't watch because they're degenerate or like they're like she ain't gonna want want to watch anime. Yeah, that's right. So like that's when I catch up on you know my Naruto. Oh Jesus! You know I gotta make time for Naruto. Fucking you, of you course. Know that. Yeah. And I mean, let's put that as number two. Make more time for Naruto. <laughs> New Year's resolution. Yeah, that's. Take my Naruto fandom to another level. Oh, no. If I'm ever going to be Hokage, I need to get my chakra control under, under, you know, I need to get, I need to, I need to get better at that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta learn how to walk sideways up trees and shit. Yeah. Okay, so New Year's resolution number three, because I'm sticking with that second one. Oh, of course you are. This one is something that I've actually started working on. And I w- I'm going to carry it on to the next new year. I need to laugh more at shit, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, I understand that. Like, there's a lot of things that, like, um, say happen at work, for example. Like, there's this guy that used to all used to really just piss me off, dude. Rub me the wrong way. I really pissed me off a lot. A lot of things he did, the sneaky little behind your back shit. Yeah. Just pissed me off so bad. Well, now, dude, this dude has become a cartoon character for me. <laughs> it's literally like the shit he gets pissed off about. I just laugh so hard. Like I can't wait for him to get pissed off about something and start some drama. Yeah. Because I fucking love it. Yeah, man, that's the best way to take it. It's like delicious, dude. It's it's literally like the funniest fucking thing in the world. Like somebody will come in like a 30 seconds late and he's like that fucking bitch, I can't believe. Oh can't. my god, it's the fucking end of the world. And it's the funniest fucking thing in the world, dude. Because it's literally one second he's all buddy buddy with me and then like I'll be on the phone with one of my buddies and he'll walk up to him. I'm like, "Hey, Mantis has to go to the bathroom." He's like, "That son of a bitch. He he fucking needs a damn catheter. He pisses so much." <laughs> and I'm like, then he'll come up and I'll be like, "Hey, thanks for letting me go to the bathroom." He's like, "Oh, no problem, man. Anytime." I'm like, "Yeah, you fucking lying cocksucker, you." I've just learned <laughs> to love that kind of shit. Yeah. Like it's just so fucking funny. Like I guess I could say laugh more and not take things so seriously. Just Live life loosey goosey. Yeah. Fucking free balling in the wind. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. That's a that's a good resolution. A, yeah. Yeah, it is. Just don't take life too seriously. Yeah. Resolution number four. I need to visit my family more. Yeah. I need to do that shit. I know that's like one of those fucking real topics that like brings you down. But goddamn, dude. Cause it, you you know the main reason why I need to visit them more? Because I visit him this Christmas, and I swear to God, every time I go to visit my family, there's like 1,600 more kids. And I have no fucking clue who any of them are. <laughs> so it's like, I get this sensory overload to where I'm like, oh my God, there's, who who are you? Yeah, Do I know for you? Real. Yeah, there's 15 of them. They're walking around fucking like doing like jumping jacks and shit and like walking and talking. And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't see you six months ago. How the fuck do you progress that much in six months? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's important. That's important. You just gotta... It's important for... And I'm saying it's important not for the sentimental family reasons. I'm saying it's important because you don't want the fucking embarrassment of being like, what is this? Are you... Do you like run a daycare on Christmas or are these your... Oh, these are your... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W- what's this one's name? <laughs> yeah, for real. It's like, you guys are cousins. Oh, Okay, I guess. Nice, I guess I have a new cousin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Proceeds to shake a toddler's hand. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so so what are you into, man? Oh, boogers and, and fighting with your brothers. Okay. Um that that's literally Yeah. Like that's my routine. And I need Fuck and that. I get fucking I I'm like the detached black sheep of the family that everybody knows all the other family's name and I'm like, Hey oh, what up, uh <laughs> You kind of look like me. Yeah, it's like, hey, you. <laughs> we have similar genetic, a g- genetic code. Fucking, we have we have similar features, facial features. I'm sure we're related, but man, I've never seen you before in my life. What are you? Seventeen, eighteen? I have no. Who are you? Yeah. For oh, real. you're here every year. Oh man, I need to start paying attention. <laughs> That's. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. Yeah. So resolution number what am I on five now? Yeah, five. Like I need to stop yelling so much. 
I start mm. start losing my voice box. I start screaming, yeah, especially at work. Like I'll I'll go on some tangent. Like somebody will bring up, they'll bring up. This brings me up to my next point, but they'll bring up something about like the government or something, and I'm like, ah, the motherfuckers want to take everything from, <laughs> and I start screaming and yelling. And then by the time I come in for this podcast, I'm already like tuckered out. Yeah, I'm like in this submissive little fetal ball, and I, I'm just this, this ball of fetal tissue, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I yeah. can hardly speak. It takes effort just to vocalize anything, like even grunts. Yeah, that's true. I do that at work too. If I if I try to talk with anybody, it's so fucking loud in there. You gotta scream to have a conversation with somebody. I scream when I don't have to, though. That's the thing. I scream when I don't have to. Yeah, I do that too. I and like to put emphasis on some words. I'm like, I'm like emphasis. That's right. <laughs> I'm like a preacher. I'm, 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 I'm spreading the gospel at all times. I need to stop. Oh Lord, ya. And that brings me to my next point. Man, I need to stop hating the government so fucking much. <laughs> this, no. This is look. This is a resolution. Everybody's got that one resolution every year that they know they're not going to keep. Yeah. And it's it's there simply to break it, because because you you can't be you can't have a perfect streak. That's you, true. You gotta you gotta take in you gotta have a resolution that's a throwaway resolution. It keeps you accountable for your other ones. You're like, well, I already fucked that one up, so yeah. I can't fuck this one up. This one is my my throwaway one. Yeah, that's that's a good throwaway one because fuck the government has so many things that you can be mad about, like my fucking tax dollars. Every motherfuckers. There's potholes in the roads. The schools suck. I mean, and there's there's so many different types of government. Like, you got the state government that you can be mad at for the roads and shit. And then you got federal. Don't yeah. even get me started on federal. And then you got the fucking shadow government motherfuckers that yeah, sit the behind fucking the Illuminati. Shadow, not even elected and making decisions about my fucking... See, this is where I need to stop yelling so much. Because it hurts <laughs> my throat. But that's my throwaway one. That's a good throwaway. That's my, one. That's my throwaway. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try not to let these yeah, things piss me off. Yeah, you're gonna try in quotes. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try to keep from getting so pissed off every time I see some, some fuck up, something that could have been done better. Oh yeah. Something these motherfuckers have been to college. They've they've they've, they've, they've been the they've something been something that's supposed to only cost two thousand dollars cost three hundred thousand. Yeah. Like remember the the guy that uh he was in fucking Canada, they were building a set of steps. In a yeah. public park, and they 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 got a quote for like seventy five thousand dollars, and he's like, "Fuck you, no, what the fuck?" And he built it for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, and then they tore it down and built their own stairs anyway, because it wasn't. Yeah, but he saved them like code. he saved them like sixty thousand dollars though. Yeah, they but shopped they, around a little, and it's like, uh, it's, Jesus Christ, man, the government doesn't do any shopping. They don't okay, do anything. Okay, okay, we're, we're anyways. That's a whole other fucking subject. Box, what do you got for your New Year's resolution? Mine, uh, my first one is I need to get a new hobby. You know, I, I I just feel like I'm, I waste too much time. I need something to do that's productive. Even if it's not even anything productive for anybody else, I have to be able to do something. So I was thinking of, I was thinking I was going to pick up whittling. Whittling? Yeah. You looked more of like a bookkeeper to me. You want to do No, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm thinking... It's super cheap. The invest, you know, the initial investment to get into it is super low, and the only thing I need is sticks, sticks and stones. They're everywhere. <laughs> sticks are everywhere. So I'm just like, man, I could just start right now. You yeah, know? you could start like whittling canoes and shit, and work your way up to where you, like the <laughs> whittling mini- a canoe. Well, no, like <laughs> the little bitty fucking like model canoes or something. Yeah, and then you can work your way up to like woodworking, like making. Kayaks That's what and I'm shit. saying. I, I, I want to get started on something small. That way I don't have to buy like a fucking table saw or some shit. And, and then turns out I hate working with wood. You know, I want to start off small, you know. Yeah, you can get a rocking chair and put it on your front porch and just sit out there for hours. That's right. I could do that. You know, I was a kid. I was whittling and I accidentally broke the little safety thing that keeps the knife sticking straight out. Yeah. The little thing you push on the back. So I broke that while I was whittling a canoe. A oh, fucking canoe. Oh, okay. It was a little canoe. Okay. And I fucking stabbed myself, dude. I stabbed myself right in the fucking hand. Oh, It, like, Jesus. went in between my thumb and my, my pointer finger, like, in the little, like, in between the webbing, oh. but, like, up up near the bone. And, like, went way deep in there, dude. And it Ooh. cut me so bad that, like, it didn't even bleed. 
for like a long time for like a few minutes. Oh shit! Yeah, this so like I saw one of those. The, like, I saw like the fatty tissues and the fucking like veins and shit in my hands. That was bad, dude. Maybe. And I had to. And what was even worse is I had to lie lie to my mom about it. I had to like keep my hand in my pocket and she's like, <laughs> "Hey, why do you have a sock?" Because I didn't we I I I didn't want to get in the gauze because I always made a mess. Yeah. So if I had the gauze out and all that shit, she would know I cut myself. Yeah. So I was just like, fucking sock, toilet paper, wrap it up. Pretend huh. I'm wearing sock gloves. Maybe maybe whittling isn't a... <laughs> be careful. Be, yeah. be fucking careful. Yeah, it's a lot more dangerous than I thought. You need, everybody that's picking up a new hobby, you need to run it past me. And I'll let you know if it's a good idea or not. Because I No, pro- don't run it past him. He thinks everything will... You'll die from everything. Look, I only say that because I've almost died from everything. <laughs> there's, okay. There's plenty, there's plenty of, of experiences that I have had that have led me to my conclusions. And in my current train of thought, my worldview is shaped by my experiences. And I'll tell you right now, riding bicycles, not a good idea for a hobby. <laughs> Whittling, not a great idea. Breeding, breeding insects, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of people. What, what, look, just take it from me. It's not worth it. Okay, I'll, I'll it. take your word on that one. Yeah, yeah, I've tried that. R- riding four wheelers, there's, there's much safer things to do. Yeah, yeah, um, like like staying in a you know in a room with no windows. Archaeology, you don't find anything. Don't 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 bother. You you want to go fossil hunting? Good luck. You're just you, not a good idea. You might fall down and break your neck. Out in the woods where nobody will find you. It, it has almost happened to me. <laughs> look, rock, look, fucking rock slide, like rock slides are a thing. Like rocks falling off, like of mountains. And, um, just take it from me. Not a great idea, man. Oh my god. So, this is why. This is why I don't run these kind of things past you. Look, if there was another one, there's a hobby that I'm I'm fixing to test out soon. Splicing plants together. Oh, remember, remember, I was telling you that one yeah. time that guy made that tree that that bore a bunch of different fruits. I'll let you know if if that's a good idea. Here's okay, some. I'm okay. sure. I'm sure it's probably not. I'm sure in general you should just avoid hobbies. For, for I mean, other than the Mantis show, yeah. Other than podcasting, pretty low risk. We're in we're in a room. Yeah, I'm not in any danger here that you know of. That's true. You've told me about that bug that almost got in here and like killed everybody. Still don't know. Still don't know if well, you you. They say you can go twenty five years and not know, but then it gets you. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how dangerous this hobby was. The kissing bug. Look it up. We've got an episode on it. It's called the kiss of death. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, it shit shit fucking happens, man. All right. So well, my next resolution is I need to hang out with more people, just in general. Like being an adult. You don't got time for anybody, and it's so easy just to not hang out with anybody. And to not want to. Yeah, you just like, fuck. It's I, like, even whenever opportunities present themselves, you're just like, man, is that, do I really want to? Yeah, and you just gotta force yourself. It's like at first, initially, you're like, yeah, that sounds great. But then you start having the buyer's remorse. You're like, Shh, yeah. was this a good idea? Should I have really done this? Like in the in the like hour before you're supposed to leave, you're like, God damn it! Why did I agree to this? Yeah, this was a bad idea. I should have just stayed in. You know, it's nice. Hey, then you start to nice figure out you've got all these you you've got all these uh these these plans and all these these prior commitments that yeah. you completely forgot about. That you've got you're like, man, sorry, got to cancel again. Yeah, sorry. I know we've been trying to hang out for six years, but. Yeah. You know, I've got to, I've got to take my dog to Pilates class. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Any got, excuse. I, I just need to, I just need to make an effort and hang out with more people. It's good for me. It'll be good for me. Even if I don't want to do it at first. Expose yourself. Yeah. No, well, not like expose yourself. Well, well, expose you Expose know, yourself depend, to. Depending the, on how the night goes. <laughs> it could go very many different ways. Yeah. And it could end up being a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. The, the um, exposure. Yeah, you know that's saying? true. That's true. You know, speaking of luck. So, well, oh, well, you got another one. Here we go. I got one more resolution that I wrote down. Uh, don't reply to politics on Facebook. 
this is my throwaway resolution because God knows every time I'm like, I'll do it. I'll be good at it for like a couple days. I'm like, oh man, that really pisses me off. But whatever. Fuck you. You're stupid. And then I just scroll on. And then out of nowhere, you know, I think I'm good for, and it's something that I'm not even that even into. Like something that's just kind of like. Something you didn't even know you had an opinion on. Yeah. And I'm like. This son of a bitch. I'll show them. And I just write out this like fucking five paragraph reply on Facebook. And then as soon as I press send, I'm like, actually, that was a, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have sent that. Uh, maybe it's like, maybe I shouldn't have argued about chimpanzee abortions. Like, yeah. This, this maybe. Problem, I don't, I don't actually. And it's like, then you don't care enough about it to, to keep going. So they just, it just looks like you lost the argument. Yeah. I was just like, damn it. Or even worse, like you remember something from a few days prior, or it was like posted a week ago, and you go back to their Facebook, and then you look, you scroll down, you find that, and you're like, "All right, you fucker, that's it." <laughs> oh, and you that's type it way in, way worse. And then they know. Then they're like, "This motherfucker just scrolled. He's been lurking on my Facebook profile, and he just went all the way down and clicked on this." Oh and my god! And they, they know god. it doesn't. They know it's not in your newsfeed. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's yep. something I definitely have to work on. But I know every time I try. I've tried at least seven times in this year alone to stop, but I keep doing it. I did it the other night. Humans are self-destructive creatures. I did it the other night. Some girl was like talking about the Second Amendment. I was like, man, you don't give away your rights. Don't ever give away your rights. I was yeah. like, son of a bitch. Why did I even post that? Because she doesn't care. No, they care enough to to, to to post about it, but then any further, like you push back on, it's like I don't, I'm not going to reply to this. <sighs> it's just, yeah, I you need stop. to stop. You need to stop that box. You should have ran that past me first. But like, I hey, know. hey, Mantis, um, is it a good idea to get in Facebook arguments? And I'm like, look, that hobby that's coming on already for me. Yeah, no, not, not it's a, not a good idea. Been but there, bought a shirt, won't go back. I'm addicted. I can't help it. Well, we need to. I'm, I'm gonna create a fate like a uh, like a social media platform that's literally just like you've got a bunch of different friend categories, and then you got your categories of people you really want to keep in contact with. You've got your list of people you get in political argu- arguments with, and then you've got your people that you just don't know. You don't know where they came from. Yeah, the, the like unknown category that you just kind of have, like people from high school. That you just kind of keep them on your Facebook so you can be like, how hey, fuck you. I make more money. <laughs> this lady got pregnant. Oh, yep. man, her life is bitch, going down. Bitch, I knew what was going to happen to you. It's so gratifying when you see it. You're just like, man, my life is going pretty well. <laughs> Boxer, are we bad people? I mean, a little bit, but I mean, everybody's a little bit of a bad person. Yeah. I mean, I guess we're not like murdering people. That's so right. Everybody's got to have their little... uh their, their little thing that they just, their little their little bit of evil that they, their little string of evil that's tied to their finger. Yeah. That they got to point around every now and then. That's true. That's true. You know, and I, it's even more gratifying when they do the thing that you told them not to do back in high school. Oh, and you're like, yes. It's like, what did I say? Mm, tell tell me, mm, I, tell so me I was right. Mm, tell me, what did I say? Oh, do you it's, remember? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah. Yeah, I need to. I really need to quit doing that. Speaking of, uh, you know, speaking of New Year's resolutions that are meant to be broken, there should just automatically be, it should automatically be tradition that everybody says they're going to go to the gym, and that's their resolution they're going to break. Yeah, that's true. They buy a fucking membership. You know, there are places like Planet Fitness out there, literally, they make all of their money on the idea that they know that people are going to buy memberships for like $10 a month and they're never going to come to the gym, and it's going to be so hard for them to cancel the membership that they just don't do it. And they just have an auto-draft out of their bank account every month. (laughs) Yeah, dude, that's why before I sign up to anything, I always always do my research. How easy is it to unsubscribe to this thing? I always think, I'm like, man, do I really fucking need this? I always think of like six months from now, am I going to be thinking about this? Probably not. Nope. Yeah. So I just don't do it. Oh, oh man, idiots! Yeah, you know what else comes out around uh, around New Year's time? What? All those fucking stop motion cartoons, like Christmas and uh, New Year stop motion. Like they got the baby, the baby New Year. Oh, it's got the diaper yeah. and shit on. They have little cartoons about where the fuck? How did a little baby in a diaper, like a half naked baby, 
How did that become the symbol of a new year? Uh, I, I could just see a baby, but it's that specific baby. It's got like that curl, that curly hair in the yeah, front. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the fuck that came from. I'm not. My uh, guess is it was probably to sell some sort of product. I feel like that's how everything, uh, everything happens. What was that? There's something. I'm having a hard time remembering. Oh, it's like fucking diamonds. Yeah. Like, like diamonds? They, it's not just a tradition. There's no deep set like uh, religious or moral or cultural practice that kind of made diamonds the symbol of, of wedding yeah. someone. You know, getting married. The, it putting was just a diamond some ring. fucking diamond sellers that were it like... It was a marketing fucking campaign, a goddamn yeah. scheme. And now it's everywhere. You can't avoid it. I bet hospitals did the whole Baby New Year thing. It's just to, just to get you to have babies. That's like, true. Hey, come, yeah, come have babies. Everybody have babies. That's why there's such a fucking population control problem. I bet in China they were putting babies all over everything. Yeah. Putting mothers in this fucking baby fever, this mother fever. That's true. That's true. Something, I, I mean, but fucking, no one, no one in this country, it was probably to sell, like, some fucking cereal or some shit. Yeah, oh, you know breakfast is a scam? Yeah, oh yeah, you I know, know breakfast bre- is the same thing. Breakfast it's just a marketing, is a scam. It's a marketing campaign. Look it up, people. You don't need to, you don't fucking, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. It is for, like, cereal companies yeah. and egg farms. But all the research shows, you don't even need breakfast. Think of all the meals, all the calories you've consumed unnecessarily. Yeah, it just makes you fat. It doesn't. You jar, get, uh, there's no jump starting your fucking metabolism. Yeah, that's all bullshit. It just makes you get up extra early to cook eggs. Yeah. Who wants to fucking cook eggs? Fuck that. And there's no good way of cooking bacon. There's not. I'm sorry. Everybody has their little way, but you can't tell me that there's a a, a convenient, a truly convenient way to cook bacon. Oh, I can. You just throw it all in there at once. Bro, you've got to turn it over. The grease is popping everywhere. You you can never get it just right like you get it from the restaurants. Well. It all gets fucking knotted together in this, like, bacon I mean, yeah, ball. That's true. That's true. But, man, at least it'll be good and not, like, fucking glass when you bite into it and just, like, shatters. My bacon is either, like, rubbery or it's, too, it's like, burnt. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Always. It never fucking, it never fails. I just stopped making fucking bacon, dude. I started getting turkey bacon. That shit's easy to make. <sighs> That's probably right. <sighs> well, New Year's resolution, everybody. Stop eating so much fucking pork. It's high in salt and... And don't eat breakfast. Don't eat breakfast. You got anything else, Box? Um... Uh, no, but I'm gonna get drunk. That's for sure. Amen, brother. Well... You guys have been listening to Mantis Show. Me and Box are going to have a couple drinks. You guys tune in next week. And hopefully, you know, we're, we're <laughs> hopefully back. Hopefully we'll be alive and didn't die from alcohol poisoning. Yep. Or hopefully Box's, uh, his new hobbies don't get us both fucking killed. Yeah. Stay tuned. See you next week. <laughs>